Hello friends. In previous videos I have talked to you about the use of current clamps to measure voltages and currents, both in AC and DC installations. I have also shown you the use of other functions such as the measurement of resistance and the measurement of the capacitance in capacitors. But lately, with the increase in the cost of electrical energy and the use of more and more electronic equipment, many electricians ask me about an instrument that can be used all day and that is not expensive, but that also allows basic measurements of active power and harmonics, not only for industrial environments but also in facilities such as offices, public buildings and even in our homes. In this video I am going to talk about a particular type of clamp meter, the wattmeter clamps, such as the Amprobe ACDC 54 navigator that allows you to measure active power, power factor and harmonics, as well as many other typical parameters of a clamp meter. My name is Robert, and I hope this video is of interest to you. In that case don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. In other videos I have talked to you about three-phase power quality analyzers, such as the Fluke 435. These instruments allow us to measure and record many parameters related to power quality, power and energy, energy efficiency, etc., both in single-phase and three-phase systems, and for this purpose they use voltage and current probes to measure the voltages and currents of the three phases simultaneously. On many occasions these instruments must be installed recording for days in order to have a complete information about what is happening in the installation, for example to make an energy efficiency report. Although they are not instrument difficult to use, it is true that the technicians who use them tend to be specialists. On the other hand, there are instruments such as current clamps that are used daily by electricians and maintenance technicians in a multitude of applications. They are very easy to use, although it is true that they often include very useful functions that go unnoticed. If you want to get the most out of this type of basic instrument, here above I leave you a video that will be of interest to you. But as I have commented, the world is changing very quickly, so adding to a current clamp the active power measurement, power factor, total harmonic distortion or THD and the measurement for both voltage and current of the individual harmonics up to number 25, can be a great help for daily work. These current clamps that also measure power are often called wattmeter clamps. But, what is that of a wattmeter clamp? To explain it, let's first look at a typical clamp such as the Fluke 325. In this case the clamp allows to measure AC current with the clamp, and AC voltage with the test leads that are connected to the 4mm banana terminals at the bottom, but we cannot make these two measurements simultaneously. If we turn the rotary knob to the voltage position, we can measure this parameter. Then if we turn the rotary knob to the current position, we will be able to measure the current value, but in this case the clamp will stop showing the voltage on the display, instead the current will be displayed. We could write down the voltage on a piece of paper, then write down the current. And once this is done, with the help of a calculator we can multiply the effective value of the voltage by that of the current, in order to obtain what we call the apparent power, measured in volt amperes. However, apparent power does not really tell us how much useful work is created by a load. In addition, the electricity bill is normally based on the measurement of active or effective power, not apparent power, and thus, we can see that the meter counts the energy consumed in kilowatt hours, and not in kilovolt ampere hours. But measuring active power is not as simple as measuring apparent power. In this case the situation is a bit more complicated, since for this parameter we need to measure not only the effective value of the voltage and the current, but we must also measure the phase shift between the voltage waveform and the current waveform. Phase shift measurement is not normally made by a standard clamp meter. The solution is simple, we have to use a clamp that is capable of simultaneously measuring voltages, currents, and their phase shifts in order to show active power measurements. This type of clamp is what we call a wattmeter clamp. To measure power, we turn on the clamp and turn the rotary knob to the power measurement position, represented by the letter W. Here we can see how the Amprobe ACDC 54 navigator clamp should be connected in a single phase installation. At the bottom of the clamp we connect the test leads that end in 4mm banana connections, and apply the test leads to the installation point of measurement, the black lead to the neutral and the red lead to the phase. Then we press the trigger button on the left to open the jaw, and place it around the cable. Although for alternating current we cannot define a specific direction of the current, since there is an alternation of the current flow, of for example 50 or 60 times per second, 
For power we can define a particular direction and we say that the power is positive when the energy flows from the supply source towards the load, and we consider it to be negative when it is re-injected into the network. For this reason, it is important to wrap the cable so that the plus sign that appears on one side of the jaw is on the side of the supply source, for example on the side of the power transformer. If we have correctly placed the test leads and then the clamp, then the value of the power expressed in watts or kilowatts will appear, without a sign, but if for example we place the clamp the other way around, that is, with the plus sign facing the loads, then the minus sign will appear to show us that we have placed the clamp incorrectly. This clamp incorporates a joystick below the display, with which we can select different functions for the same position of the rotary knob. For example, we can use this joystick to select the active power measurement, but we can also select the power factor, represented on the display with the letters PF, and in this way the clamp will show the power factor, which is nothing other than the active power divided by the apparent power. The power factor is always less than or equal to 1. The closer the power factor is to 1, the more efficient the installation will be. A low power factor implies that if we consume a given apparent power, expressed in volt amperes, the useful work we do, expressed in watts, is small. Additionally, the value of the power factor shown on the display can be positive or negative. If the alternating current wave lags the alternating voltage wave, which is the case with inductive loads, the sign of the power factor will be positive. And if the alternating current wave leads the alternating voltage wave, which happens with capacitive loads, the sign of the power factor will be negative. As we can see, this clamp provides very useful functions for simple power measurements. Measuring the active power measurements in three-phase systems would not be difficult once we already know how to measure power in a single-phase system. In a three-phase delta, or triangle system, we will use the two-watt-meter power measurement method. According to this procedure we will have to carry out two partial measurements. The first power measurement is carried out by placing the clamp on the phase 1 cable, and the voltage test leads between phases 1 and 3, as shown in the figure. Next, we proceed to carry out the second power measurement. To do this, in this case we place the clamp on the phase 2 cable, and the voltage test leads between phases 2 and 3, as shown in the figure. In this way the total active power will be the sum of these two partial powers. For a three-phase star installation, the total active power will be the sum of the single-phase active powers associated with each phase. In this way, we first place the jaw on phase 1, the red probe on phase 1 and the black probe on neutral, then we place the jaw on phase 2, the voltage red probe on phase 2 and the black tip on the neutral, and finally we put the jaw on phase 3, the voltage red probe on phase 3 and the black tip on the neutral. As we can see, the black probe is always placed in the neutral and only the red probe is changed. In this way, the total active power will be equal to the sum of these three single phase powers. In this way we have seen how to use a basic instrument such as a wattmeter clamp to measure the effective power both in single phase installations and in three phase installations both in delta or star configurations. But this Amprobe ACDC54 navigator clamp has many more interesting and useful functions. Look at the number of options that we can select on the display. And it not only allows to measure the active power, but also allows to measure the total harmonic distortion, that is the THD, for both the current and the voltage, as well as the individual percentual values of each harmonic up to the 25th order. To do this, simply move the rotary knob to the voltage position, or current position. Then, we can select with the joystick below the display the THD icon, or the harmonic spectrum icon. In the case of selecting the THD option, the clamp will measure the value of the total harmonic distortion, which is calculated dividing the effective value of the set of harmonics from order 2 to 25, by the effective value of the fundamental component, and then the result is multiplied by 100 in order to get a percentage value. We can measure the voltage THD when the rotary knob is in voltage measurement, or the current THD when the rotary knob is in the current measurement position. In the case of the voltage THD, the European standard EN 5160 indicates that the THD value should be less than 8%. In the case of the current THD, there are standards for different types of loads, such as power supplies, rectifiers, UPSs, etc., that establish specific limits. In any case, the lower this value, the better for the installation. On the other hand, if we select the icon of a harmonic spectrum, we will enter a measurement mode where we can visualize the percentage value of each harmonic in relation to the fundamental component, 
from harmonic one, that is, the fundamental component, which obviously will always take the value of 100%, up to harmonic number 25. In this way, we will be able to analyze harmonics individually and that can help us to determine the origin of these harmonics. For example, electronic single phase loads tend to generate currents with a high content of the third order harmonic, while three phase loads like rectifiers tend to generate more current harmonics associated to the fifth, seventh, and eleventh order. As you can see in a single clamp, we have in addition to the traditional functions of measurement of currents, voltages, resistances, etc., two very important measurements the measurement of active power and the measurement of harmonics. And so, we have reached the end of this presentation that I hope you have found interesting. If that is the case, don't forget to drop a like so that I know that you liked it. In future videos I will show more aspects related to the use of current clamps, so if you don't want to miss it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. See you in a next video. Bye.